These are 12 of the best exercises to quickly improve your shoulder pain and mobility. Plus, in the end, I'm going to be showing you how to build out your very own routine that only takes 10 minutes a day using these different mobility drills. But first, in order to open up the shoulders, we need to open up that spine. Lay on a foam roller with your knees bent and the roller going across your upper back. With your arms behind your head, lean back as far as you can into extension. Hold this for one or two breaths and then return back to your starting position and repeat. Or to make it even more effective, you can extend your arms up behind your head to create more leverage. On top of that, you can also add a light weight into your hands to create even more leverage. And you can even extend your legs to get full T-spine extension. Oh, but I'm not done here. Because you can also add some rotation and lateral flexion into this T-spine extension in order to get even more mobility. Now, another drill that's perfect for not only opening up the spine, but strengthening the lower back is going to be Superman's. Lay flat on the floor with your elbows out and hands behind your head. Now, keeping the core and glutes tight, lift your chest off the floor, hold it there for one to two big breaths, and then slowly return back to your starting position and repeat. Now just like extensions on the foam roller, you can also add some lateral flexions into the supermans in order to engage those muscles like the QLs. That's the quadrass lumborum if you're not sure by the way. Now if you do want to make this easier, then you can also start off by just simply moving the arms up, holding it there for a breath, and then bringing it down. Now besides extension, we can also work on our T-spine rotation. And the first drill you're going to be performing is going to be the T-spine rotation on your side. Stack your knees and feet on the side of your body as you use your lower arm to secure your legs down. Now with the top arm, rotate away from your leg as far as you can. You will be able to get a little more rotation out of it if you let all the air out at the end of your rotation. Once you reach your max distance, going to take one or two big deep breaths and then return back to your starting position and repeat. Now another rotational drill we can do here is going to be a T-spine rotation on the wall. Kneel next to the wall with the closest leg on his knee and the farther leg in front of you with the foot planted. Grab a foam roller and place it between the wall and the front leg. Now from here, rotate your body away from the wall while keeping the foam roller pinned with your knees. Once you reach your max distance, take one or two big breaths and then return back to your starting position and repeat. You may have noticed that as you take those big deep breaths you're able to get just a little more rotation every single time at least most of the times now moving on from the t-spine we're going to be going into the shoulder and the first exercise we're starting here is going to be wall slides start sitting on the floor with your back against the wall your elbow should be out to the side and the back of your hands against the wall. Now from here, slide your elbows up towards the ceiling, hold it there for one to two big deep breaths, and then return back to your starting position and repeat. The goal here is to keep your core tight, try to keep your elbows against the wall, and try to keep the back of your hands against the wall throughout the entire movement. Now let's take the same kind of movement down to the floor. Start off in the prone position with your arms in front of you. From here, lift your shoulders up into the air and then perform a row behind the head. Hold this for one to two Two breaths and then return back to your starting position. You can also hold on to a stick here as you perform the movements in order to an add an extra challenge. Now staying in that same exact position, we can also work on our shoulder rotation. Bring one arm out in front of you while the arm, other arm starts out behind the back. Now sweep both arms out to the sides as you change positions. This drill is focused on internal rotation when your arm goes down to the lower back and external rotation when the arm goes up behind the head. Remember your goal here is to take big deep breaths throughout the entire movement and in those new positions. Now let's take this mobility drill up a notch by adding a monster band. With the first drill being the banded shoulder flexion. And by the way, a lot of these exercises come from Dr. Kelly Starrett and his book, The Supple Leopard. Anchor a monster band to a high point as you grab the other end with your hand. Now from here, wrap the band around your wrist as you reach your butt back and drop your head. This is gonna put your shoulders into a flex position. Now hang out in this position for roughly 30 to 60 seconds as you try to work on the areas that feel the most stuck or feel tight. You can also shift your weight back and forth and lean away from it in order to get a better stretch. This next exercise is perfect for anyone who has rounded shoulders and is called the banded bully. Leaving the band at the same anchor point, hook your arm through the band so it's resting on your shoulder. From here, you can also grab the wrist behind your back in order to hold that arm in place. Now go ahead and lean forward and away from the band to help improve your external rotation and extension. Do this for roughly 30 to 60 seconds on the areas that feel the most 
felt stuck. Now let's focus on opening up that chest with the banded chest opener. Wrap the band around your arm, just like the banded shoulder flexion. Now from here, rotate away from the band to help stretch out the chest and shoulders. And yeah, in this position for 30 to 60 seconds as you try to work on the areas that feel the most stuck. Now there are two more drills I want to quickly cover, which is going to be perfect for anyone who has thoracic Ellis syndrome or just generally nervy shoulder and arm pain. Go ahead and loop a monster band through your arms as you put it onto your upper traps. Now from here, step onto the band with your opposite leg in order to create tension in the band. Let that band apply pressure to the traps, which is going to help decompress that first rib underneath. You can also move your arms and your neck around through its full ranges of motion to help release that first rib a little faster. Now another technique we can do here is going to be the nerve floss, which is perfect to help loosen up the nerves between all those tight muscles. With the painful arm out to the side, what you're going to do is raise your wrist up as you flex your neck to the same side. This is going to create tension in the wrist, but then create slack within the neck. Hold this for one or two seconds and then reverse the movements by laterally flexing your neck to the opposite side and then tilting your wrist down towards your body. And again, now this is going to create tension in the neck, but loosen the tension in the wrist. And just for shits and giggles, go ahead and flex your head to the opposite side as you point your wrist up, just so you know what it feels like to have tension on both sides. Now, how can you use these different mobility drills in order to build out your own routine? Well, it's actually pretty simple. What you're going to do is go through all these different exercises and try them out and then give each one a score for one through five with one being the easiest and five being the hardest. Now, all you're going to do is just pick out the hardest exercises for you to do and then just do those for 10 minutes a day. You can do each drill for roughly one to two minutes or for a certain amount of breaths. Now, on top of these mobility drills, we can also add some exercises for the shoulders and the scapula, which you can learn how to do by clicking on the video in the top right corner. I'll see you over there.